Hey everyone, so I got some personal messages asking me how I record and process my vocals. Spoiler alert, I do not even own a microphone. Because I consider myself a beginner for now and not yet worthy to invest money in buying something like that. So how do I record my vocals? Through my smartphone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it in detail. I already have everything set up. Let me show you how you too can set it up. This is the page you have to head to. Link will be in the description. And this is how this application will be working. And the first thing you have to do is install the Womack application in your smartphone. Here is my phone. Then you have to install both this client and virtual device driver in your PC. Both are very small executable files which you can install like any other software. After installing those, you have to go to Manage Sound Device in Windows Sound Settings and make sure Vomic is one of the input devices. Among these, the client is the one we have to open. Here it is. Now we have to open the application in our smartphone. First we have to go to the settings of the application by touching the gear icon on the top. As you can see, there is a menu called Audio Source. Today's mobile phones have multiple microphones in them. This menu gives us the option to choose which microphone or which combination of microphones to use. For my particular device, I found that the Mode 2 gave the best result. It might differ in your case, you have to experiment with each of them. Now let's check out the first option in the settings which is Transport. As you can see, it's set to Wi-Fi Direct. For this to work, I have to turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot in my phone and connect my PC to that Wi-Fi. Now let's head back to the my client in our PC and open this connect. Here we have to select the same transport that we selected in the mobile application. We have completed the setup. Now we can connect by pressing the play button on the mobile application and then pressing OK in my client. We are connected now. Let's open up Cakewalk and the first thing you have to do is open up the preferences Go to playback and recording section, then in driver mode, select MME. This is what let me record through the Womack application. Now be warned, there is a little bit of latency in it. Now let me show you how to set up the audio track for recording. We had to set Womack as the input device. So here in input, we have to go to MME devices and down there we have left microphone Womack device. Left or right, it doesn't matter since I don't like recording my vocal in studio, I choose one of those two. And then you arm the track for recording. If there wasn't any latency, I would have turned on this echo input by which we can hear our vocal input through the monitors or the headphones. But since we have latency, I keep it turned off. Let's record something. This is how I make covers. I bring in the song for which I am making the cover. Adjust the tempo, maybe lower it a bit, then transpose it in favor of my vocal range. I'm implementing the method of vocal comping. To enable that, right click on the record button and check if comping is selected. This lets us record multiple takes for a loop region in just one go. And then you can choose between the best takes by clicking here and press shift plus space in your keyboard after selecting one of the takes. Don't say you lose, just yet get up and move ahead and not only for yourself. Don't say you lose, just yet get up and move ahead. And just like that, let me record all of it. Hi, this is me from a parallel timeline. Let the other me record his singing style vocal while I walk you through the effects that I applied on the rap style vocals because they are different compared to the effects that he will be applying for whatever he's recording. So this is the trap project. Down here we have our vocal. I would like to make folders and group these together. That makes it easier, right? This is the main vocal. This is a chorus for the vocals. Chorus or uh, I don't know support I would say and this is second chorus this is a different kind of vocal with a different effect in here let's open up the main vocal this is the main one 
Before we begin, you have to understand the root of the audio signal. It comes from the top and goes to the pro channels, then it comes back and then goes through the FX rack. If there is any scent, it will go to the scent. It's a tapping, signal will still come down and it goes down and it goes to the output. This is vocal, which is actually a stereo bus that I added. All these vocals are going into that st single stereo bus. Let's talk through the effects in here. Let's open up the pro channels since that's where it's gonna enter first. First thing is this EQ. Players feeling God rap music, the sound of hip hop. Applying the EQ, taking out the low end in here. Players feeling God rap music. Then there is this tube saturator, console emulator, and saturation knob. These basically imitate the errors and distortions that can occur if we record in a real hardware instrument or interface. Players feeling God rap music. This Players feeling God rap music. Players feeling God trap music. Then we have a compressor to decrease the sudden increase in peaks. Then the audio signal will travel to the effects rack. And the first thing we have is a DSL, which takes care of the harsh S sounds. Players feeling God trap. Players feeling God trap music. The sound of hip hop. Players feeling God trap music. The sound of hip hop. Players feeling God trap music, the sound of hip hop. And then we have a sonitus delay. It's a little tiny, teeny bit, and you can see that I have disabled this link and given these values difference. So it will be different on the left and right speakers, which will give the stereo effect. Players feeling God trap music, the sound of hip hop. Now trap has blood. Then we have a reverb. Witness is really low. Players feeling God trap music, the sound of hip hop. And then finally, we have the also major to give a wider stereo feeling. Players feeling God trap music, the sound of hip hop. So that's it for the main vocal. And then I duplicated the same track and then added this vocal doubler for the chorus section. Never known scan group in the sound. And with a really high amount of stereo widening. With the main vocal. The signature trap sound of blazing bass I had. And then we again have a chorus section which is the same thing. But this time I used this. This is actually a panning effect here so with the main vocal it will seem like kind of a question answer the uh, the main vocal is asking a question and this chorus is kind of answering the question i would also like to add that i think i dialed down on the uh, vocal doubling on this one trap was no music what instead in men were the life got turned to curse of the drug deals really? really see and then we have finally this one i took out a uh, major portion of the low in here. I think that's the uh, major difference in here. Nothing else. So it's this one. No kidding, man. And in context, it is. Know that the music is something that invokes a cultural legacy. No kidding, man. And that's it, guys. I'm. I'm and in the bro, <laughs> and in the broader sense. Music is something that invokes a cultural legacy. No kidding, man. And with the music. Music is something that invokes a cultural legacy. No kidding, man. And that's it, guys. I'm signing off. Well, that's all I had to say. Now go back to your timeline. Welcome back. I guess by now you understood how I treat rap vocals. But before adding effects, there is one important thing I do to any kind of vocal or any kind of audio. It's cleaning the audio. Let me show you how I do that. The first step is to bounce all the audio clips into a single audio clip. But before that, for this particular project, I'm gonna add an auto tuner effect and check my vocal does not sound weird because after I bounce it, I won't be able to go back. And I need an auto tuner on my vocal because I'm not a pro singer. 
Don't say you lose, just yet get up and move ahead and not only for yourself. Cause that's your role, the work that stays your soul. You can make for someone else. If my vocals sound too weird, then I'll try the takes that we already have and settle on the one that sounds the least weird. Once it's finalized, I'll open up the project audio folder, then rename the audio track to something unique, select all the vocal clip and bounce it. Now we get the entire vocal as a single WAV file. Next I take that file to the free software called Audacity because Cakewalk cannot perform noise reduction. To do that, first we had to find the location with only noise. That looks like a good place that represents the noise in the entire track. We select that, then we go to effects, noise reduction and get noise profile. Too much of noise reduction can make the voice sound bad. To make sure that doesn't happen, I'm gonna preview some vocal with this effect. Don't say you lose. Once I'm happy with the way it sounds, I select the entire thing and apply the effect. And then scan through the entire track again to find more places with noise and to cancel them. And then I normalize it to minus 1 dB. This might have brought some noise that was hidden before, so I scan again. This is the time when we get sounds like mouse clicks, mouth ASMR and so on, which we can remove by doing this. Alright, finally we export it as wave and then bring it back into the Cakework project that we were working. Believe me, this is the same project, I removed the other track which was not needed anymore for reference. The first effect that I decided to add on listening to this is a DSR. Don't say you lose, just yet get up and move ahead and not only for your And then the EQ in Pro Channels. Don't say you lose, just yet get up and move ahead and not all and turned on every other thing in the pro channel with a least value in the parameters. Then I add Sonita's delay effect. Don't say you lose, just yet get up and move ahead and not only for yourself. Then brought in Tal Reverb 4. Don't say you lose, just yet get up and move ahead and not only for yourself. And an additional equalizer called Tedia Nova just to make sure that no low end is coming through. You can make for someone else. Let's have a listen. Don't say you lose, just yet get up and move ahead and not only. Pretty messy, right? And that's why I treat singing style vocals with a different method. It starts off by adding a stereo bus and bringing the delay and reverb effects from the vocal to that bus and adding a send from that vocal track to the new bus. Don't say you lose, just yet. It's the same until we enable the EQ and add Sonita's compressor. Now we can add an additional send from that vocal track to the Sonita's compressor. Now we had to change the parameters in the compressor like decreasing the threshold, changing the knee value to 30 and increasing the release time and so on to make it sound right. Don't say you lose, just yet get up and move ahead and not only for yourself. Cause that's your role, the work that stays your soul. You can make for someone else. One day you choke, you then added also an major to widen the effects and brought back the reverb with a higher low cut in order to smoothen the vocal so that I could hide the obvious effects of autotune. And that's it. That's how I process my vocals. If you found this video useful, then do like it. And if you think there are better ways, then comment it down. It will help me and other viewers. And subscribe for more content like this. And remember, being a beginner is not an excuse to stay away from recording your amazing voice. Good luck. And here is the outro with the exported version of that vocal.
Don't say you lose. Just yet, get up and move ahead, and not only for yourself. Cause that's your role, the work that stays your soul. You can make for someone else. One day you choke, you are just overflow. An obsession weighs you down. But don't you waste the suffering you faced. It will serve you in due time. So tell me how it felt when you walked down water. Did you get your wish floating to the surface quicker than you say? I don't, I don't. So tell me how it felt when you walked down water. Did you get your wish floating to the surface quicker than you say? I don't.